This is my nine in one superfood mix. It contains nine different foods and you can add these nine foods all at once to your baked goods and pizzas and breads and it will boost their nutrition and increase their deliciousness. This is a mixture containing cornmeal, chia seeds, oatmeal, brown flax, golden flax, hemp seeds, sunflower seeds, walnuts, and peanuts. I've made this superfood mix and I want to be able to make more of them so I can give them away. So I'm going to put a jar down and I'm going to individually distribute the layers of ingredients into each jar. So we're going to start by adding our cornmeal. Cornmeal is an awesome source of protein and fiber and it has some useful minerals for humans. And it has a lot of fiber so corn can prevent digestive ailments like IBS. Corn also has antioxidants, which help it act as an anti-carcinogenic agent and help prevent Alzheimer's disease. Next we have chia. Chia's got omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, plus all nine essential amino acids for humans. Essential amino acids are just like they sound. We need them, and we don't produce them in our body, so it's great to be able to get them from sources like chia. After the chia, we're going to add oatmeal, and we've got sprouted oats. Sprouted grains have been shown to have less starch and are likely to be more easy to digest than regular grains. So it can also help people who are sensitive with digesting grains to try sprouted versions of those grains. Next, we're going to add flax, and I'm adding two kinds of flax to this because flax is amazing for the following reasons. First of all, it also contains quality protein, fiber, and omega-3 fatty acids, and it's a pretty rich source of some vitamins and minerals that humans like. Flax also has something called lignans, and lignans, L-I-G-N-A-N-S, are plant compounds that have antioxidant and estrogen properties, which means they can lower the risk of cancer and improve overall health in people who consume them. Next, we have hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are going to add more quality protein because they're a healthy fat, and they also contain essential fatty acids and vitamin E. Hemp, amazingly, also contains minerals like potassium and sodium and magnesium and calcium and iron and zinc, and those are great things. If you don't normally get those from a meat-based diet, you can get them from hemp. Next is sunflower seeds. It's been shown that sunflower seeds have a high vitamin E content, which can help reduce inflammation. And they have a high magnesium content, which helps reduce heart disease. And they have a special protein-fat combo that might also help reduce type 2 diabetes. Next up, we got walnuts. So walnuts are going to give us more omega-3s and omega-6s, kind of like the flax does and the hemp. Those are both good protein sources. And... Walnuts can lower a person's total cholesterol, including their LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. That's info straight out of harvard.edu's website, so you can take it to the bank. And then we're going we're gonna to tap that down a little bit with our bottom of our jar, because after the walnuts are coming, the peanuts! And peanuts are available all over the world, and they are a decent source of protein that everyone can get. In fact, in an international study containing 200,000 people, those in the study that regularly ate peanuts and other nuts were substantially less likely to have died for any reason compared to those who rarely ate nuts. This is jumping in logic a little bit, but I'm just going to say, eat peanuts and live longer. And we're going to bring in a lid and a locking lid. Keep it all tight. These are 16-ounce mason jars designed for canning, but I got them at Target, and you can do anything you want with them within reason. So now it's sealed up. The jar on the left has all nine ingredients in their raw state, and the jar on the right has the same ingredients in the same order, but this time the ingredients are pre-ground, which makes it easier for whoever is using this mix to actually put it to good use. So now we have a sealed jar of our superfood mix and it's ready to be stored in the freezer until we need to use it or we want to give it. Let's label this jar to avoid any confusion about its contents. 
and we made a little bit of a mess. So we're just going to hoover all that up a little bit with my little handy dandy vacuum here. Let's take our superfood mix with the unground up ingredients out of here. Clean off the table a little bit. Let's look at our ground up jar. Looks very nice. There's our nine and one, yeah. So when it's time to use our superfood mix, what do we do? All you have to do is take the jar and empty it into a bowl to mix it all together. Start with a bowl and uh, empty your jar into that bowl. That's it. You're now ready to mix your superfood. So I'm choosing a clear bowl just so you can see the mixing up process. Ideally, you would do this in a bigger bowl that it would allow you to be a little more messy without making a mess. Now our superfood is super mixed up and it's ready to be added to our favorite recipes. For baked goods like cookies and breads, I like to replace up to 25% of the recipe's flour content with superfood. I like to put it in my favorite pizza recipes, and I've found that they're actually able to handle a 50-50 swap. Like, I can literally replace half the flour in my favorite pizza dough recipe with this superfood mix. I usually add a little extra yeast to help it rise a little higher than it might have on its own because I've weighed it down a little, but it is amazing. And they are so much more nutritious than an all-wheat flour pizza. And I also like to add this superfood mix to oatmeal and porridge. Just right at the beginning, before you've added the hot water to your mix, just add some of this superfood mix to it as well. Everything will heat up in, in the hot water. And as you can see, you can put the superfood mix right back in its jar, and uh, whatever you haven't used, you're ready to use again later. Just store it in the freezer until you're ready to use it. Let's do a little cleanup again. Make sure this is a nice and neat area. So let's bring back our original set of ingredients in their slightly raw form. You can see the jar on the left is all the ingredients as the jar on the right, but the jar on the left has not been blended together, and the jar on the right has. That's the only difference. These are otherwise fundamentally identical in nutrition. Well, let's take our mixed jar out of here, and let's take our other jar out of here. And I'm going to give you a quick look at the workspace we're in. There's the mason jars up on the top of those cubes there, and a scale. And I'm actually going to put that mason jar and scale combo back down in front of us here. And we're going to fill up the remaining empty jars with more superfood mix. We're going to do different types of strata and all sorts of fun. So let's just see how they look. Each of these is 33 grams of pre-ground ingredients added to every 16 ounce jar. And I'm trying different ways to pour them so that they look different levels of visual interest. I do want to give these as gifts to people who bake, and I want them to look eye-catching and attractive to those people while they have them in their freezer. It kind of looks like a still life or a, a landscape. Hoover that back up again. What have we done today? Well, we've introduced the concept of a 9-in-1 superfood mix, which is this jar here contains a bunch of different things that we can add to our baked goods and we can really improve our overall health by eating these different things. We've ground each of those ingredients up and then layered them in a jar again. That's going to be a more presentable as a gift version of the same jar. And we've combined all the ingredients into one single mix and put that back into a jar. So you can see all the three levels of superfooding. Every one of these jars contains the same ingredients displayed differently. So I, I have this jar, and I'll probably be adding it to some pizzas that I make this week. And I have this jar that'll probably be a gift. And then I have this jar, which is kind of my visual reference for when I want to make these. And then I made all those other ones. Let's take a look at what those look like. Yeah. I think I like it best with the black band of chia in the middle. Kind of reminds me of the planet Jupiter. You know, the big eye on Jupiter. 
This was a really fun way to spend a day. I am glad I finally documented this and got to share it with you. I've been waiting for a long time. I want to do this in a visually pretty way, and I think I achieved it. Please enjoy this in good health. I hope it makes your day so good and your morning so ready to go.